In today's video, we're taking a look at Nido stress balls. What are they, what are they good for, and what happens to them when we mess with them? What have we got here? A lot of Nido. Nido appears to be some squishy stress ball type things. You know, I think we need to put these in the vacuum chamber. There's a lot of weird stuff in them, and there's a lot of air too, and Hey, look, here's our vacuum chamber. All right, so we can use the vacuum chamber. Yeah. We can, I think I want to cut one open, see what that stuff on the inside is. I'm gonna set one on fire. You want to set one on fire. I think these sound like good plans. I set fire to feel joy. Here's the basic idea. We've got a lot of gunpowder and an old beer keg, and we're pretty sure that with those two things combined, we can make a rocket that will leave Earth's gravitational well and land at the moon. We're just gonna load a bunch of kittens on, see how everything goes. Okay, first up, I wanna pop one of these and see what's inside. Now, there are lots of reports that they pop too easily just playing with them. That hasn't happened in like the minute I've been playing with it. When you squeeze the side so it's thin enough to see through, it looks like a foam inside. It's it really does. Just kinda curious that it stays a foam and doesn't collapse down into something else. We're gonna give it a little bit of help. Yo, oh, gross. What? It's like a chest burster. Well, I would say yes, it is I'm gonna touch it. a foam. Oh no. I mean, it's probably non-toxic because like this is obviously going to be yeah, a thing no that kids flavor. are going to get in their mouth. It has quite the smell, very uh, vinegary, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got it in the vacuum chamber. What do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to expand a lot like you know whipped cream and cake batter and shaving cream, things that I think we've done in the vacuum chamber before. So I'm guessing that whatever this stuff is, it's some sort of structure that's just mostly air, like 90% air with just tiny, tiny, tiny little bubbles filling it up, uh, which is basically what we have with whipped cream. Whipped cream expanded a ton when we put it in the vacuum chamber. So you think this is gonna make a mess? Let's find out. Three, two, one. Okay, we got lower pressure. Go, it's already go, moving. Go, go. Oh, yes it does, that smells Gotta terrible. That. It's expanding, it's not expanding as much as whipped cream did, but it's no, definitely yeah. moving some. Oh wait, there, wait. It's getting bigger. Wait. <laughs> That's a mess. So this is not even the foam from one ball. No, no, because we are playing So I'm wondering of that. if the rubber will even hold or if it's just gonna tear open, because oh that's quite goodness. a bit of expansion. Yeah, no, that's insane. Oh, oh, and oh. we hit critical mass. All the bubbles have now started popping. Yeah. It's, the, the pressure's still going up, but now it's just collapsing. That's pretty cool. I still wanna know if it's flammable. That's my main question here. Is this stuff flammable? Okay, let's let the All air right, back ready? in a little bit, and this will probably just Still collapsing some. Hey, yeah. It smells terrible. Oh, it kind of does. Yeah, I don't really. Oh. I don't really know what smell that is. It's kind of similar to acetic acid, but it doesn't actually smell like yeah. vinegar or anything like that. Yeah, no, that's kind of strange. Yeah, I don't know what kind of chemicals they have in this. Oh, yep. It's almost not crunchy, but it's definitely thicker now. Before it was like a soft shaving cream. Now it's yeah, kind of like a very light Cool Whip. Okay, now we're gonna put a full. Nido stress ball down in here, not just the popped foam. It does not want to stay in place. It does not. It's uh, it's round. It likes to move. And you know, if that starts expanding at all, it's just going to move immediately anyway. But let's let it start right there. Okay, this is all working. Plugged in. Good. You ready to go? All right. Here goes. Three, two, one. I have the uh, valve open still. It's oh. fine. Now it's gone though. <laughs> that took uh, yeah, that's no expanding time. quickly. Also, do you see that there's like almost a, some sort of mist coming oh, yeah. off of it? Oh yeah, happens all the time. I don't want it to stick to the side, but yeah. oh no, this is gonna that's make a mess. Very possible. This is gonna make a huge mess. That's gonna burst and it's gonna explode in there. Fortunately, it will all be contained inside the tank. I, I did not think it would get that size, honestly. I thought it would pop before now. It doesn't want to move anymore. 
Whoa, what happens There's if it fills the whole container? Filling the tank. Oh, and there goes the foam. Wait, no, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Don't, don't you dare. Okay, I think that's, it's as full as it's gonna get. Let's see what happens when we let the air back in. <laughs> it looks so sad. <laughs> the foam doesn't fill it anymore. <laughs> oh no. What have you done? It's, it's actually not too different. Are you sure? Here. I mean, a little. Let's see what happens if you put multiple at once. <laughs> I assume they're gonna crowd into each other and, I mean, one filled the whole container, so five definitely will, but let's see what they do. All right, go for it. They're growing. I wonder if they'll burst just because they're squishing into each other now. I just really want one to break. <laughs> that's awesome. I think that's it? I think we're good. Oh, the, no. the stretched out rubber like together they've like bound up oh oh, oh, oh no wow. wait hang on a this... lot more than i thought they yeah. would yeah i didn't actually expect this at all okay all right we've still got a few in fact well, all of them survived which they is did more than i thought all right what is it you wanted to try next you know how much i love setting things on fire it's true you ready i'm ready as i'm gonna be That's burning rubber. Good. Good. Is the foam itself burning? I it's can't It's like tell. a marshmallow. <laughs> a terrible, terrible oh. marshmallow. Oh no. Put it back in the flame. I'm enjoying this. And it's dripping fire. Look, little fire bombs. Oh. You know what? I don't think we actually need that anymore. I think it's just going by itself just fine. Splat. Here, like the foam itself. So the rubber is now just falling apart. <laughs> like nothing. The, the foam does not burn. Yeah, it's dried it's like out roasted. a little bit. Well, this smells terrible and almost at the place on fire. <laughs> but look, squishy. I'm not done with this. <laughs> Sorry, Quaid. Toasty. Toasty! That was interesting. Is that what you were expecting? Honestly, no. I thought that the foam itself was gonna set on fire, but I mean, if it does have baking soda in it, just given the smell and sort of that, that acetic smell we've got, not at all. I don't know what it's made of, but no. it really didn't burn. No, but it, it feels like the texture of a cooked marshmallow. Like, especially right here, you can kind of see that looks like a toasted, melted marshmallow. Not a great color for a marshmallow, but the tech, yeah, but it's kind of got like the skin over the softer. Yeah, that's... And that was kind of interesting. It started like Ew. dripping while it was on fire. You're gonna I know. slingshot that. I sure yeah. am. Poor stress ball, did not survive. All right, what do you think is the next thing we should try? Well, we've burned them, put them in the vacuum chamber. Stress test. I don't want my arms to get too tired. Well, I'm impressed. They, uh, they actually held up to that. Yep, not too bad. No. All right, you know what I want to do now? What's that? More stress testing. Is there a reason that you're putting it in a vise? What, what's, what's your ultimate goal here? I mean, 
I mean, I just think people are going to want to know. All right. Okay, so this is kind of interesting because we thought it was surviving those hammer blows, but do you see all of these little spots where it's starting to uh, ooze out? I think that's where I punctured it with the uh, sharp end of the hammer. I lied, there's one more thing I want to do with this. Thank you, all right, Callie, do you want to do the outro or me? Probably me. You don't really look up to saying much. For those of you who got our Spy Scope Challenge slides, you're well on your way to unlocking some exclusive content, a behind the scenes look at how we made today's video. If you don't have your challenge slides yet, click the link in the description below and get them now. So it's all for today, but you know we always have more to watch and click on the link below. And if you are going to the last video that we did, click on the link below. And if you are going to the last video that we did, click on the link below. And if you are going to the last video that we did, click on the link below. And if you are going to the last video that we did, click on the link below. And if you are going to the last video that we did, click on the link below. And if you are going to the last video that we did, click on the link below. And if you are going to the last video that we did, click on the link below.